Welcome everyone. There is official information on Zonly again, and over here this was posted one hour ago. And as we can see over here, I translated the page into English. So what's happening is they're saying that they see that Zonly's role is not strong enough, and they want to make additional future future adjustments to him. So this is based on the previous adjustments as well. We'll touch both as well today. And basically this happened, they're saying is as of the 29th of December, they will be adding those additional bonus to Zonly into the new test server. So there'll be two things we'll be testing. And what we're going to see is two parts of this particular video. The first part is we're going to look at new bonus adjustments to Zonly and how it's getting buffed. And also we we'll look at the merits of the previous adjustments. I have heard some information on the beta testers about maybe he's a little too overpowerful and let's talk about why. So the first thing is, what's happening is Zonly will provide us with a jade shield as over here. And this shield now provide a 20% reduction to physical and elemental damage. So you can see the clips over here, he is taking about 2000 damage over here, takes about 2200 damage over here. And this is bef after adjustment, this is before adjustment. So he reduced damage again by 20%. And after that, while protected by the shield, the elemental damage will also be reduced by 20% as we can see over here. So as we go further, they talk about the previous effect and the new effect. So previously we have the rock element or the geo element absorption to 250% with the geo shield. Now with the new changes, this will be 150% absorption for all element and damage. So not only does he reduce elemental damage and physical damage by 20%, he also provides more shield strength. So let's say if his shield is a 10,000 HP protection, so with this particular change, it is now 15,000 protection, and this also reduced damage by 20%. So it's likely about, oh, I can't calculate. So he is protecting about 18,000 worth of damage if his initial protection was 10,000 because of this change. Now previously, he protects 10,000, he reduced 10,000 damage. So this change is about 80% bonus defense for Zone D. And this is quite massive. The second plan change is something we saw on the previous notes as well from our official notes. So official notes were talking about when holding down his E, not only does he provide with a Geo Shield, he also provides with a structure, the Geo structure, that is to press his own E spell. This is to hold. So by holding on the E spell, he will cast a shield. He will also provide a geo structure if you don't have the upper limit. And that means with constellation two only, you can have up to two. With constellation one, if you don't have anything on the field, you can have one of that on the field. And this is pretty good. So those are the effects supposedly to be buffed onto Zonely with the previous buffs. And that is interesting, right? Oh, interesting, interesting. So, you know what we're going to do now is we're going to quickly come back to the previous buffs and we'll quickly cover on those and I'll share with you guys some of the information I found on the forums with Chinese and also on some of the posters who claim to be from patch 1.3 beta testing. So what did they say about this? So there's three things to summarize the three things that was going to be added to Zonely previously on the nodes is that his normal attack will gain 1.39% maximum HP as his damage you can see over here. The second thing is his E spell resonance every two seconds, he will deal his percentage damage by 1.9%. And the final thing over here is there is going to be a buff to the Geo parties. The Geo party will have 15% increased shield strength, which is going to make him a protection, protection god. And also the increased damage deal is still here with normal attack. And also we have the Geo resistance reduced by 20% when you have the Geo damage dealt to enemies. When you have damage dealt to enemies, actually. So what this means is that Zonli is going to be a very powerful shielding character. He is going to be pretty good with the resonance, very similar to our battle. We'll touch on how this is going to help his banner. And also finally, we have the geo resonance reduction, the resistance reduction for Nongan, for Ningan, and also for Noel, which are quite strong geo carries. And also the Traveler can be a geo carry for the main damage. So what did I found across the web is that I've been looking at this and while looking at this previously, I also found some numbers. So what's happening is this is a little, <laughs> little off. I'll make the correct numbers. So for zone D from the previous notes and also from the no notes, people are saying that he might be too powerful. So he might not be able to retain this 1.39%. And let me try to explain why. 
So for every 10,000 HP, Zoni is looking at 139 increased damage from his normal attack. And if he's looking at 40,000 HP, we look at about 556 increase of damage. And the E spell damage is not massive, so we don't really mind for the E spell for the every 10,000 increase. It's more for the normal attack. If we look at Zoni's numbers over here, What's happening is people in beta have a testing dummy and they just hit the testing dummies to see how much more damage they can do. And um, but while hitting the testing dummies, people are reporting that with the zero constellation zone Lee, he was doing more damage than the six constellation zone Lee child. So zero constellation zone Lee versus six constellation child. Child cannot beat zone Lee because zone Lee is a lens character that attack really really fast. So also he attacked multiple times on his fifth attack. So those all get scaled over here by this particular bonus damage. So notice it's one hit to six attacks. And not only those get scaled and also have multiple procs on the fifth attack. And what's happening is he also gains three special benefits while scaling. So the first benefit is critical damage and critical rate, similar to most damage. The second is normal attack bonus damage. If you have a gladiator set, you have 35% more normal attack damage. And he also enjoys the increased damage dealt by 15% from the Geo Resonance. So on top of that, there's one more. So there's like four things. The last thing is he actually enjoys more attack speed. So someone like Chunyang that increased his attack speed, he can actually proc multiple times as well, with Chunyang's E spell giving him more attack speed. And because of this, people are saying that he's a little too powerful. Not only he gets way too many shield, and you know, now with another buff to Zonli with more shield on the latest information, he is getting a, a massive, massive boost to his normal attack damage, and it's a little too strong for the beta testers. So I thought this is interesting to share because we're talking about the topic of Zonli getting additional buffs. So just keep in mind, guys, they're saying that he might not get this massive percent damage. They're saying that he will be lucky to get 1% of the, the increased damage, and this might even go lower. Because currently in the beta testing, in the 1.3, he is way, way too powerful. But it's good to know, though. There's two reasons, guys, I want to share a little bit of the, my theories. There's two reasons they buff Zonli again. One is that, yes, I think he deserves a buff for a 5-star character. Most people, free-to-play players investing. He looks very cool with a great design. There's a lot of the Chinese cultures and spirits behind him. For the second reason, is where the money comes in. This is because the, our battle banner is currently going on. And buffing a Geo character that you pretty much have means you might want our battle as your other Geo character. So notice the link over here. So this might help with the sales of the marketing perspective. So every time we saw the first buff to Zonli before the battle banner, and that worked really well. People did go for a battle, and regardless how you played our battle, you know there's more buff coming. And while the battle banner is happening, there is another buff. Notice that? So with this buff to Zone Lee, you'll be like, hey, my Geo team are pretty good. I'm getting two buffs. There's a good future ahead of me. So you might be more likely to go for a battle. What I do is, if you're planning of thinking of a battle, I'll make a video on Ganyu as well, which is the next character. See what your alternatives are, and don't rush into rolling for a battle yet, because you still have, you know, 14, 13 days with our battle. But it is very nice buff to Zonli, and let me know what you guys think about it. I think after all the buffs, he can just stand there and take all the damage, and then he's going to jump them really hard with his percentage damage increase. And a lot of us will be going for artifacts that has increase in HP percent, also critical rate, and also get a bit of attack speed on him if we can, and that's going to look amazing. Let me know what you guys think, guys. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also turn the little bell on for the latest news. I'll be looking towards to make more builds, guides, tips, and news and event updates for us as we come further into the game. And as always, I wish you guys the best of luck with catching and have the most fun in exploring this wonderful world.